for all. Since Python programming has been introduced as a common course under Calicut University for few courses, I'm planning for few Python lectures to the best of my knowledge. I don't know to what extent I could go, but if time permits, I will try for few basic lectures. I'm extending heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Jeeva Jones. I had attended one of her workshops which helped me to step free to the world of Python. I know very well I'm just a droplet in the ocean of Python, but still trying for a new venture. Python Introduction Python is a popular programming language. It was created by Guido Van Rosen and was released during the year 1985 to 1990. It's a general purpose interpreted, interactive, object-oriented, and high-level programming language. Python source code is available under GNU General Public License. It is used for web development, software development, mathematical operations, and system scripting. Why Python? Python is a versatile language which is easy to script and easy to read. Python has simple syntax similar to English language. It doesn't support strict rules for syntax. Python has syntax that allows developers to write program with fewer lines than some other programming languages. Its installation comes with integrated development environment for programming. It supports interfacing with wide-ranging hardware platforms. With open source nature, it's, it forms a strong backbone to build large applications. Python runs on an interpreter system, meaning that code can be executed as soon as it is written. This means that prototyping can be done very quickly. Python can be treated in a procedural way as well as an object-oriented way or in a functional way. How can we compare Python syntax to some other programming languages? Python was designed for readability and has some similarities to English language with the influence from mathematics. Python uses new lines to complete a command as opposed to other programming languages which often uses semicolons or parentheses. Python strictly relies on indentation using white space to define scope such as scope for loops functions and clauses, whereas other programming languages often use curly brackets for this purpose. And what are the features of Python? Python is simple and easy to learn. Python is a simple language with few keywords, simple structures, and its syntax is also clearly defined. It is an interpreted and interactive language. Python is processed at runtime by the interpreter. We need not compile the program before executing it. It is an object-oriented program. It supports object-oriented programming concepts that encapsulate code within objects. Python is a portable language. Python can run on a wide variety of hardware and software platforms and has the same interface on all platforms. Another property is scalability. Python provides a better structure and support for large programs than shell scripting. It is an extendable language. You can add low-level modules to Python interpreter. These modules enable programmers to add or customize their tool to be more efficient. Dynamic is another feature of Python. Python provides high-level dynamic data types and support dynamic type checking. It supports GUI programming and database programming. 
Python's library is portable and cross-platform compatibility on Unix, Linux, Windows, and Macintosh. So these are the few features of Python programming language. And what about Python syntax? Python syntax can be executed by writing directly the command line or by creating a Python file on the server using .py file extension and running it. Here is an example showing writing a Python command or Python statement on command line. Print hello world will print the string hello world. Identifiers in Python. A Python identifier is a name used to identify a variable, function, class, module, or other object. Python identifiers are case sensitive. So we need some rules for naming identifier. Identifiers can be a combination of letters in lowercase or uppercase, digits, or an underscore. And Python identifier cannot begin with a digit. Keywords cannot be used as identifiers in Python. We cannot use special symbols like these as identifiers in Python. An identifier can be of any length. Some naming conventions used for Python identifiers are class name starts with an uppercase letter. All other identifiers can start with lowercase letter. Here student is an example of a Python identifier used for naming a class. Starting an identifier with single leading underscore indicates that identifier is private. Starting a Python identifier with two leading underscores indicates that it is a strongly private identifier. If the identifier also ends with two trailing underscores, the identifier is a language-defined special name. Examples are also shown on the right side. And what are keywords in Python? There are some reserved words and you cannot use them as constant or variable or any other identifier names. This table shows few identifiers available in Python. And variables. Variables are containers for storing data values. Unlike other programming languages, Python has no command for declaring a variable. A variable is created the moment you first assign a value to it. If A is assigned value 5, it is considered as an integer variable. B is equal to 10.5 means we are doing a floating point assignment. NAM equal to John means we are doing string assignment. Python allows you to assign a single value to several variables simultaneously. That is, we can assign a equal to b equal to c equal to 1. Here, an integer object is created with value 1. And all the three variables are assigned to same memory location. That is, a is assigned 1. B is assigned 1, C is assigned 1, but all these 3, A, B, C are assigned to same memory location. You can also assign multiple objects to multiple variables. For example, say this example, A, B, C equal to 10, 20.5, double quotes 2. Here, we are creating one integer object with value 10, a floating point object with value 20.5, and a string object with value 2. How can we add comments in Python? Comments can be used to explain Python code. Comments can be used to make the code more readable. Comments can be used to prevent execution when testing code. Comments in Python always starts with hash and Python will ignore them. Example for a comment is given below. Comments can be placed at the end of line and Python will ignore, ignore rest of the line. See here after print hello world I have added a comment. 
So the print statement will get executed and the rest of the part will be ignored by Python interpreter. Triple quoted string is also ignored by Python interpreter and it can be used as a multi-line comments. An example for a multi-line comment using triple quoted string is given below. Python indentation. Indentation refers to spacing at the beginning of code line. So here, if statement begins at a particular point of line, but the next statement print P in the next statement is little bit indented. This is called indentation. In other programming languages, indentation is used just for readability. But in case of Python, indentation is very, very, very important. Python uses indentation to indicate a block of code. So here, if true, the next statement is indented and typed. It means that in order to identify the true block, Python is using this indentation. What is the use of codes in Python? Python accepts single codes, double codes, triple codes. And these codes can be used to denote string literals. But one thing to be considered is that the same type of codes should be used to start and end the string. Here, in this example, in the first case, I have defined a string using single quotes. So the same single quote should be used in the beginning of string and at the end of string. Similarly, we can use double quotes, but the double quotes should be used to start or end the string. Similarly, triple quotes should be used to start or end the string. That's for today. Thank you.